Now then, Marley, I've been having a right old laugh watching the Labour Party trying to find themselves a new leader to replace the uh, recently departed, not in the sense of dying, although for what use he was when he was alive it would make an awful lot of difference, but the recently departed from the leadership, uh, Ed Miliband, don't know what he's going to do, he's still an MP, um, so I suppose he'll just keep milking the taxpayer for as long as he can get away with it and then maybe go and milk a charity like his brother did. Don't know. Oh, they always seem to land on their feet, these people. Um, anyway, they're looking for a replacement for him and uh, Chuka Omuna, he put his name forward, threw his, uh, threw his hat in the ring and uh, after a couple of days realised that... Um, Applying to be the leader of the what's currently the second biggest party, uh, that won't last much longer, I don't think, but at the moment it's the, the second largest political party in the United Kingdom. Uh, he didn't realise that applying for a job as a leader of that party would entail some sort of media scrutiny. Uh, when it dawned on him that he would be scrutinised, uh, he packed it in. After two days he said, no, this is not for me, so... You know, has he got something to hide? Who knows? Uh, he certainly is what my late father would have described as lacking in moral fortitude. I mean, we've got Nigel Farage, uh, among other um, senior UKIP people, but particularly Nigel Farage, who's uh, received a constant barrage of vitriol and abuse from uh, the main party um, spokesmen and all pretty much all of the media. And even uh, one or two of his own party have gone bent on him from time to time. And he just plods on because he's made of sterner stuff than anybody Labour can put up. Andy Burnham, his name's been uh, mentioned in dispatches as a possible leader. The same Andy Burnham who is at least morally, if not legally, responsible for the deaths of at least 1,200 people uh, in uh, mid-Staffordshire. Uh, during his time in charge of the NHS. Um, he's now started banging on about um, getting an early referendum to get us out of the European Union. So there's another one plagiarising UKIP policy because uh, they're right and they're popular, UKIP's policies. That's the thing. Say what you like about UKIP as a party, everybody wants to implement their policies. Um not even sure who else is in the running for this thing. Uh, but I'll be honest, that Labour traditionally has been a party of the working class as well. They don't get much more working class than me, and I can't think of anybody apart from the ex-army guy who declared himself out on the basis that uh, he was going to spend more time with his family, and that was not a euphemism, that was actually true, and fair play and kudos to him for that. Jarvis, Dan Jarvis, I think he's called. Uh, apparently his wife tragically died recently and uh, he needs to look after his children every credit to that man apart from him I can't think of a single other Labour MP who I would trust to go to the shops and get me a pint of milk that's how bad that uh, the situation has become around the Labour Party and I'm, I'm not alone I travel the length and breadth of this country in both of my jobs talking to other people from all walks of life and all persuasions and uh, there is just no trust left for the Labour Party so maybe it's time they just put the shutters up and you know went back to whatever it is they are qualified to do it certainly isn't politics um, in the meantime support UKIP join UKIP vote UKIP when you get a chance you know it makes sense let's get out of the European Union <laughs>